Hyundai 935 replaced the popular Tucson in 2010. The compact crossover is built on the same platform as the third-generation Kia Sportage, and they assembled 935 at the factories of the South Korean concern in Slovakia and the Czech Republic. Hyundai 935 was offered with two-liter engines, petrol, 150 horsepower, and diesel, 136 and 184 horsepower. There are three boxes, five-speed or six-speed mechanics, as well as automatic. Let's make a reservation right away. We do not know anything about chronic fatal malfunctions of engines and transmissions that would entail unbearable expenses. The owners, as if by agreement, bypass the power couple on specialized internet forums, from which we can conclude, reliable. And if you look into the instruction manual, you can stumble upon an amazing and ambitious passage. Say, the fluid in the brake system, the oil in the transfer case and gearboxes, the oil in the manual and automatic transmissions do not change the entire life of the car. You will laugh, but today the 935 failure statistics confirm the manufacturer's self-confidence. Exceptions are indeed rare. However, this does not mean that the car does not have weaknesses that should be considered when buying it on the secondary market. So, the only negative thing about the gasoline engine was a lot of complaints about the discrepancy between the declared fuel consumption and the real one, a common thing. In the city, the real average consumption is 13 to 15 liters per 100 kilometers, on the highway, at least 8 liters. According to the passport, everything is different, 10 and 7 liters, respectively. On diesel versions, passport data, 9 and 6 liters, respectively, are much closer to reality. Rigid and also knocking suspension was the cause of many complaints. The main source of knocking is the native suspension struts. Replacing them doesn't fix the problem. It happened that for 20,000 kilometers, some car owners managed to change them three times. However, there are also lucky ones who did not notice the knock and drove up to 100,000 kilometers without incident. Another source of knocks, on cars up to 2012 onwards, is the anther and shock absorber bumper flying from the seats. They are recommended to be fixed with the sealant. Not uncommon on serious runs and the knock of the steering rack. The paintwork is traditionally soft for Koreans, quickly gaining chips, especially the hood. However, the metal under the, covered with a thin brown film, today does not even think of rusting. Sustainability and durability of chrome fittings. But this is not the main body problem. Complaints about the poor closing of doors, forcing them to slam heavily, have become the most widespread. On irregularities, the back door sometimes flakes, which is why it is necessary to adjust the lock hinges. And in general, the rigidity of the body leaves much to be desired. And yet, you should not chase cars with the function of heating the rest zone of the wiper blades. The windshield here is not very resistant. In cold weather, it happens that it bursts due to temperature changes. To a fair run, a lot of claims run up in the cabin. It gets old quite quickly, especially with careless operation. Scratches peeling paint in places of frequent contact. You can find a lot of complaints about the car on the forums, but in general, any of the owners will confirm that the 935 is a technically reliable car. As for diseases, all their symptoms are quickly eliminated. And then, if you don't forget to diagnose the spline connections of the transfer case and gearbox for corrosion before buying, the spline connection of the drive shaft and the CB joint is not protected from moisture, the 935 will serve you well. Suspension. In 2011, the manufacturer made design changes and the rattling racks, which could not cope with our roads, became more durable. There were noticeably fewer cases of contacting dealers with this problem. Another source of knocks, an anther and a shock absorber bumper flying from the seats, were eliminated only in 2012. Transmission. The automatic transmission sometimes stupid when trying to accelerate after a long measured movement. There are reviews of slippage, an increase in speed without acceleration, followed by a strong push at the time of switching. However, this rarely happens. Dealers solve the problem by flashing the gearbox control unit. Engine. Power units have a timing chain drive. There are no complaints about the engines. Starting in cold weather can be difficult due to a retractor relay or glitch of the clutch pedal switch on vehicles with mechanics. One of the features of the fuel pump is a rather high noise level during operation. Body. The problem with poor closing of the doors and stumbled adjustments of the trunk hinges probably lies in the game of the body. This is felt when leaving the car on a slope. Owners persistently torment dealers, 
and dealers refer to certain design features, but for the sake of conscience, they adjust and lubricate the locks.